Hi, this is Tim. Today I'm going to answer our 4 to 20 milliamp troubleshooting question from Christopher who asked, how can we test 4 to 20 milliamp sensors that aren't powered up? I'll show you how I do it out in the field. And all you need is a portable power supply and a basic $10 meter. And for my portable power supply, I actually use the PLC Tools SIM ALP2 that we use to simulate the sensor out in the field. It also has a voltage source mode. And in voltage source mode, you can power up to 10 volt. And 10 volt is going to be enough to power up your typical 4 to 20 milliamp sensor. So what I'm going to do is take a cable and connect it to my sensor. And in this case, terminals 1, 2, and 3 are the ones we need. 1 is going to be our plus voltage, 2 is going to be our analog signal, and 3 is going to be our minus. And if we look at our analog simulator while it is in voltage mode, then we see red is the PLC input and black is the common. That means red is putting out the plus 10 volt and the black is the common. So I am going to take terminal number one and I am going to put it underneath our red post. Then I'm going to take terminal number three and I'm going to put it under the black post. Now that will get us powered up, but now we need to get the meter into it also. So for our meter, our black one will be our common and our red one will be our milliamp input. And I'm going to put it over here on 20 milliamps. So I'm going to put the black lead underneath the black post along with that wire that was going to terminal number three. Then all I have to do is take the red lead of my meter and touch it to terminal number three. So I have my meter at 10 volt and now we can see that we're getting a signal. It's showing roughly 11 milliamp right now. Now if I can get everything in my hands here, I'm showing I'm showing roughly 10 or 11 milliamp, and as I get it closer here, because this is inductive, and you see it goes down. And so here I can test this sensor and make sure it works simply by using a portable power supply. Now, sometimes you can actually get this to work with a 9 volt battery. It's always marginal with it, because like this particular sensor here is 10 to 24 volt. And so sometimes they'll power up, sometimes they won't. To learn more about milliamp signals, click here.